graphic size. All right, so this is how I would set up. Loosen your jars. <clears throat> Have your Petri dishes suspended on a rack close to the level of your jars and then clamshell each one of them as you're taking transfers. Now I'm not going to open these, but I have a blank one here to show you. Clamshells are your friend. Simply lift it up like that out of the side. You can hold on to it with uh, your gloved hand. Take your little uh, wedge out of there, pull it out, drop the top back onto it and immediately plop it into your jar. No need to tighten it until you're all done and continue to do that with however many plates. Maybe you even just have one plate and you're only making transfers from a master plate into the rest of your jars. Now, uh, if your plates happen to slide around a bunch, get yourself one of the non-stick dab mats and, uh, you know, same thing. Clamshell. Don't remove it all the way because... If you're in flow, it doesn't matter because you're, the flow, the sterile flow is pushing all of the light particles away from your work area. Not so in a still air box. You could be whipping up contaminants with uh, your movements. So you wanna open it, having a shield against the gravitational pull of particles that may be swirling around above. Take out your little wedge, plop it in, that's that.